Hello everyone! Welcome to a new mod video. Yes, I have decided to make uh, mod videos every day if it's necessary. But um, if I see a cool mod, a downloaded mod, something really, 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 really nice, I will make a video. Every time I can, because I can do it, and I can do it, and I will do it. Let's get down to earth. Okay, so I saw a couple of mods, but what I want to do today is compare two mods. Yeah, and here we're talking about these two babies, the Dominator 88 class and the Mega 208. One is 69,000 domi Dominator, the class Mega 208 is 147,000 euros. Horsepower 160, let's talk about Dominator first. Horsepower 160, 220 liter um, tank, 23 kilometers per hour, vroom vroom, 4,600 capacity. Mm, nasty, nasty stuff, nasty stuff. Okay, and the other one, it's uh, quite a double per day, triple even, damn. More horsepower, more horses, um, even more uh, if you see here at the tank, the gas, bigger capacity, 24, oh my lord. One kilometer extra, mm -mm -mm. and uh, not that much uh, of a bigger capacity, but meh, meh. Okay, uh, they uh, actually harvest the same type, I uh, I would suppose. Yeah. Okay, let's buy them both. Acquisition done. Rim color, you sir must be red. Okay. Uh, should we buy? Okay, let's check the headers for them as well. I did not check this before. Okay, I think it's the... No, these are the big ones. Okay, these ones, these two. Yeah, let's buy them both. Uh, the difference between them, the price, it's a bit... Uh, 4,000 extra on this one. Because of the 0.4 meters extra. Wow. Wow. Right? Am I right? This is for the Dominator. Damn, son! Three meters wide! Woo! Woo! No more space! Allow me to arrange this for a second! Okay, so I arranged them a bit. I sold the other header like this, the smaller one. The 0 0.3 meters smaller one. Yeah, this is the corn and the um, sunflower header for the Dominator. The It's quite huge, three meters, man. Look at this beauty! It's a monster! Okay, let's talk a bit about the Dominator. It uh, looks quite good. What I really love about it is the implementing the textures of uh, the rust and the um, paint chip all over. If you can see, even here, looks really good. I mean, it really gives you the feeling that it's old, but it's really done its job, you know what I mean? It's more square-like like that. And uh, if we start the engine, Yeah, that's it. That's all we got. And we can start it up as well. Let's check the insides as well. Allow me to pour, uh, start this. Okay, inside. Um, there is no uh, buttons or anything. Just simple like that. Old, old quality equipment, you know? No, yeah. And um, yeah, uh, no special actions in the cockpit to say so. Okay, let's uh, check the dirt levels. Okay, one, two, three, and the four. That's the last one, yeah? Yeah, one, two, three, four. I think it's really nice done, the dirt levels. Random like that. Good texturing and stuff like that. It's a really beautiful mod. I actually use it on the Rusting Challenge series. It's uh, enjoyable to say so. Off to the Mega. The Mega. In my opinion, in some ways, looks better on the outside. Look, this is cracked. Ha! Addition of the fire hydrant over there. Really nice. A really, really nice uh, job. As well, um, what I noticed about this... You can uh, open it. Allow me. You can open it like this in. Yeah, that's it. Start the engine. Alrighty then, start the front. Uh, 
Fancy, fancy. Okay, inside. Buttons. Oh, we have buttons. Open the door. And the steering wheel up and down. Up and down. This is to change the menu. Come on, change. Yeah, this actually changes this. Has a slight lag or something. I don't know why. Happens. No judgy. What I noticed on this one is that when you accelerate and go, you see there's a wobbly movement of the equipment. This is the first time I see this. Gives the mod more character, to, uh, to be honest. The difference between them two that I saw, the green is a little bit more close on this. Yeah. And the pipe. Very fancy pipe. Very fancy. Long and massive pipe. Yeah. And it's beautiful. Let me open this and go to the other one and open that as well. Yes. Good. And that's about it. These are two beautiful mods. I cannot say, okay, I like that one or I like that one or something like that. In my opinion, they're both very cool, very nice. They're both a must-have if you're into old and rusty equipment. I think um, you should download them. They're in the description. I'm gonna put them over there. And uh, what can I say? That's about it for this episode. A short one, yes. And uh, I'm gonna do more of this. Have a great and awesome day. And the uh, bees out. Whoop, whoop.